I'm gonna show you how to make a slingshot in the bush and to use the Y-shaped branch which is going to be the slingshot part of the slingshot I'm going to cut a branch of a guavo tree okay I think you say guavo in English or a jabuticaba tree the guavo tree and the jabuticaba tree are good trees for a slingshot because both of them have uh, branches which possess this Y shape okay which is ideal for slingshots and I have just found a perfect branch here I have just found a very good branch here and this is what I'm going to do now I'm going to chop it off Okay guys, now I'm going to show you a slingshot that I've made. I made this slingshot using uh, the white branch of a jabuticaba tree. Now Colhane Mac, he has on his channel, on, on his YouTube channel, channel Colhane, uh, a video showing a jabuticaba tree. It is um, a tree that gives some very weird and interesting fruit, very good fruit, okay? we have here in Brazil and if you want to check it out you can go there and I'm pretty sure that nobody there in the States or in Europe has probably seen any anything like those jabuticaba trees so go there and check it out and another good use for those trees is for a slingshot uh, Y uh, hand uh, Y shaped handles why because just take a look it has a perfect Y shape and very resistant however when for example because th this slingshot has some very stiff uh, rubber you know rubber here I have to hold it like above up above here to make sure I have a steady shot otherwise if I grab it by the handle down there it would like move and I wouldn't have a very steady shot so by doing like this it works out better but I'm going to show you three different types of wood okay that give give you very nice shapes for this link shot this one here is the guavo tree you've seen me cutting before a very nice y shape this one here is a jabuticaba another jabuticaba y shape okay and this one here is a y shaped branch that i cut down here where i was uh, where we are camping so we have three possibilities a lot of these uh, y shaped uh, branches down here so I'll probably use I don't know I guess the guava one that you've seen me cutting before to make the slingshot I want to show you so stay tuned for my slingshot I'm going to use this rubber band which I've brought previously I'm not going to use I'm not going to destroy and cannibalize my other slingshot I'm going to make a new one this time using this new rubber uh, sling here whatever this rubber band and with the leather strap okay and the gravel Y shape check it out first I'm going to remove the bark okay by either peeling it off or scraping it off this is very important that it doesn't uh, keep any moisture inside so it will harden and, and keep this Y shape uh, fast. So it's important that you remove the bark first.
So now I will trim this tip off to even the two sides and after that I will carve a notch which will be the place where the, the, the sling will be attached to.